In this video, I'm going to talk about the Philips Instant Fit LED uh, T8 tube and the Cree T8 LED tube and do a little bit of a comparison. So I've got the two uh, bulbs here with their respective boxes. And these are plastic bulbs as opposed to uh, glass fluorescent bulbs, so they're shatter resistant. You're not going to worry about them breaking and putting glass all over the place. And they both have plastic ends and uh, you know, metal uh, electrodes, uh, connectors. So um, the specs, as far as the specs go on these two tubes, these are both 4000 uh, K color temperature. The wattage wise, the Philips is 14.5 watts and the Cree is 18.5 watts. So the Cree takes more watts, but the Cree is dimmable. So if you put a dimmer on the Cree, you can drop that down below the 14.5 watts of the Philips. And needless to say, they're both below the 35 uh, watts you'd have with a regular fluorescent bulb. So either of these will save you uh, money. Uh, the Philips is 1600 lumens. So that's about the lumens you'd get out of a 100 watt light bulb. The Cree is 1700 lumens. I don't notice a lot of difference when they're in a fixture. Um, the, because the uh, Philips uses less wattage, it's a, about 110 lumens per watt where the uh, Cree is about 92. Um, so the Philips is a little bit more efficient. Now when it comes to life, uh, the Philips is a uh, 40,000 hours average life and the Cree is 50,000. So uh, the Cree is uh, 10,000 hours longer rated life. Uh, the Cree is a little bit cheaper than the Philips too by about three dollars at my local Home Depot. So um, another thing that might matter to some people is the color uh, rendering index and the Philips uh, is an 83 and the Cree is a 90. So the uh, positives of the Philips is that it takes less wattage. Uh, the positive of the Cree is that it has a higher color rendering index and then the Cree is also dimmable. So um, these are both great bulbs in my opinion. Um, I've been using the Philips for quite a while and I just got these Crees. Uh, oh, another thing to point out is that the Philips work with instant start ballast and the Cree work with instant start or rapid start. And that's actually a different technology. So the Philips bulbs will not work in a rapid start ballast. So um, you have to, you can use the Cree in the, those fixtures. Otherwise you can change your ballast out, uh, which I've done on some fixtures to work with these Philips bulbs. So uh, I'll put these in a fixture and we'll take a look at the uh, lights uh, in a fixture and it's kind of hard to see on camera, but we'll see what they look like. Okay, so on the left here we have a Philips Instant Fit uh, bulb and on the right we have a Cree. Um, just judging by my eyes, they look about the same brightness, although technically the, the Cree is 100 uh, lumens more. One difference uh, I've noticed on these is that there's a hard to find line here. The lens uh, emits light from about half of the lens on the Philips and on the Cree. Uh, it wraps around. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but it cuts it off uh, up here just a little way. So this uh, spreads light a little bit wider. So depending on what you want to do, you may or may not want one of these bulbs over the other. You know, the Philips is going to cast a little bit more light down. This is going to cast it out a little bit more, but the difference is probably negligible either way. Um, but the, I've had the uh, Philips on before and they run very cool. I can't imagine the Cree are any different. Um, they probably run cool also. So, but uh, that's, uh, this is kind of the best I can do at showing you what it looks like in a fixture because it's kind of hard for me to record these lights. So, well, if you have any questions about these lights, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that if you would like to. And uh, please click like and share. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.